three years, this man is still out there. Why? I know what the killer knows. HLN. Two girls, Abigail Williams and Liberty German, were living their very best 13 and 14 year old life, doing what most kids do and, you know, just being innocent and going on walks and hanging out. Well, that day on the Monon High Bridge is where they decided to hang out. They got murdered. We still don't know who the killer is. He's still out there. We have no idea what's going on. Go that um, way. Down the hill. Down the hill. That's what he said. And then, uh, let's say this is the girl. The garret goes over their neck, around their neck. The person clutches for the rope. Then now they're silenced. And another twist around the garret. Pull back on the garret. Now they're choked. Now they can't talk. So that's... Uh, and then the, the reason why uh, the, that is used is because it's first a silent kill, and then you control the time of death. So if you are in the organ harvesting situation, you control the time of death. Hi, ladies and, and gentlemen. This is Stu Sutcliffe, back for another Stu Sutcliffe video. Actually, uh, you can call me Redline Stu. What would you, you'd want to ask some questions. What would you want to ask most of all? What would you tell them uh, not to waste their time talking about? Well, I don't know. A lot of people would ask him what is the progress being made? What is the lack of progress being made? Um, don't talk about the uh, softball fields and, you know, this, that, and other other stupid stuff, you know. Do you, uh, do we have any suspect? And maybe rumor, did the girls or were they ever speaking of them? of or mention a creepy guy, I would like to put that uh, this to rest because I never even seen nor heard it. Um, and Becky uh, says, yes, it has. It's been confirmed that, yes, it's a creepy guy. Conspiracies and rumors going around in the case of the Delphi killings. And by terrific, I don't mean awesome, I just mean Really convoluted, complex, and big, and uh, myriad. Ever since, and of course he's dead, for those who don't know. Um, he died uh, March 2019. And I believe the sketches are related because he matches both. He matches both sketches. You know, one's with a hat, one's without a hat. They're different people that saw him. Sketches are notoriously different from the person. And if you have two sketches, I'm sure they're notoriously different from each other. That's not really odd. Everybody wants to, they're so different. It's like, well, that's the nature of sketches, okay? So, you know, sometimes the sketch can look a little younger than he is. It could look a little older than he is. or It's just, um, you know, a perspective of that that person just saw him for a moment on the trail and and now this is not talking about my person of interest this is talking about the suspect the guy who did this is obviously a psychopath and psychopaths can appear quite different at times they have different expressions moods I'm sure that just you can see him 10 minutes, another person can see him 10 minutes later and come up with a completely different sketch. Okay. My old videos are down. Um, I think they were just too much pointing fingers directly at somebody who's not been determined as a suspect. So even though that's what we think. It's, it's just, I don't want to throw the name around and point fingers and everything, you know. Good afternoon, YouTube. I'm Anthony Greeno. And firstly, I would like to thank everyone for joining me today in this video. This past 28 months has been an emotional roller coaster. It should be duly noted that the information that I am providing to you today should not be considered an official update from law enforcement. I am not associated with the Carroll County Sheriff's Office, Indiana State Police, or the Federal Bureau of Investigations. However... I'm an investigative reporter who dedicates the majority of my time in conducting my own private investigations in order to assist the appropriate authorities in finding the person responsible for the murders of Abigail Williams and Liberty German. Carroll County is where I am from. I grew up here. 
And ever since this horrific tragedy took place, this community has been on edge. I don't feel safe here anymore. We should be able to travel to and from our destinations without worry. When conducting daily business, I shouldn't have to take a second glance at a person and wonder, could he be that one? When one person makes an entire community feel like they have to live in fear, then I think I speak on behalf of everyone when I say, that's just not acceptable. My name is Harvey Carroll Jr. As, you, as most of you know, I've been investigating the Delphi double murder case for about 17 months. Um, I, along with many other YouTubers and groups out there. You all know the story of Ron Logan. What caught my attention very early was this glove, sort of yellowish, and it could have matched a thick, what people were thinking was a pouch. I actually did some enhancements, and at one time it appeared to be a hand. I don't know, but, you know, that just sort of caught my attention. Right, so I, he, he was like, look at this. There's a photo taken by Libby on the bridge that went to her Snapchat account. Then she recorded audio of the guy. Okay? Well, yeah. No, that's not, that's not what happened. We've explained it a thousand times, okay?